The basics of Buddhism, um, you know, so basically, you know, to be a Buddhist means that you have taken refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Um, and, you know, for me, and I think, you know, generally speaking, it's a, it's a commitment um, to do the inner work, um, to work with your mind, and to kind of, you know, look inward, um, for transformation rather than, than at external uh, realities. So, um, and, you know, in, in Tibetan, I believe, um, the word uh, nangpa, which means Buddhist, mean, translates to inner being. So, um, so really kind of focusing on the inner world that we have going on. Oh, sure, it's been it's been kind of a big debate, um, even with you know His Holiness the Dalai Lama, um, because we do embrace science um, and you know as Buddhists, and um, you know there's a lot of work with the mind, um, both from a scientific side and spiritual side. Um, I think you know for me, I never really thought of Buddhism as a um, religion per se. Um, it, to me, it's more of a way of being a way of life um a way of kind of conducting ourselves through the you know some we take vows we have certain different vows uh, certain levels of vows that we take um some are ordained you know um so yeah i mean i guess it has a religious component to it but for me it, it doesn't feel the same as as a religion the very most basic uh buddhist vow that you know, we all kind of take is not to harm any living beings, whether um, it's you or an animal or, you know, even the little those ticks that we all have here in Vermont. Um, you know, that that's the very basic. And, and it's really um, because of kind of what that cultivates, you know. Um, so so that's the very basic. So the, the and then there's the five precepts, which are the most basic. And you kind of agree when you take refuge, um, you can formally take refuge, um, you know, with a teacher. Um, in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, and that, you know, you take five precepts, which are no killing, no stealing, no lying, um, no intoxicants, um, drugs, alcohol, and no um, divisive kind of sex or, you know, um, malicious type sex. Um, so, so those are the main. And then as you progress, um, there's what's called bodhisattva vows, um, which is basically you kind of, so when you get to the bodhisattva level, you've kind of, you know, you've maybe been, you've accepted Buddhism as your kind of choice way of being. And then, um, you know, you've, you've, you've done some practice and, um, and then you take it to the next level, which in our tradition, the Mahayana tradition, um, is for the benefit of all beings. So as the bodhisattva vows are you are kind of vowing that everything you do is for the benefit of others. So those would kind of be the basic what vows taught. And, you know, and then as I got older, I think in my 20s, um, later 20s, maybe shifting into my 30s, I was doing very well. I had a great job. I was, you know, I had a nice house. I had a nice partner, dogs. You know, I had all the things that... Um, you're supposed to do, you know, and, um, and, you know, between my partner and I, we made a nice amount of money. We, um, didn't really want for anything. Um, and I just remember having this moment, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, that I wasn't very happy and I, I couldn't figure out why. And I, I felt, um, I wasn't necessarily unhappy, but I just felt like something was missing. And, um, and I remember thinking to myself, gosh, my parents taught me all kinds of things, you know, how to tie my shoes, how to go to good school, do this, do that. But no one ever really taught me to deal with this or this. And that's where I was struggling. And, um, and I, ha I wasn't going to any churches or anything. I had, you know, periodically checked in here and there, but um, it didn't do much for me. And so I honestly started to see a therapist <laughs> because I was like, what is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. And, um, and I just kind of, he asked me what, you know, so what do you think and what do you feel? And so I told him and he said, have you ever read any Buddhism? And I said, no, I don't know anything about it. I'm not really, you know, interested. And at that time I had been researching a lot of religions, but for whatever reason, Buddhism never came across my desk. And, um, so I picked up a book, The Four Noble Truths, which are the basic, you know, truths in Buddhism. And I was just totally blown away. I mean, I... It was everything I had been thinking, and, and, and I 
just, it truly felt like coming home for me.